Our next category is arts and culture, efforts by a group or individual to improve or enhance the arts and culture within our community. And the nominees are Eliza McCracken. She held a series of art exhibits and book programs throughout the community to inspire creativity and advocate for arts education. Evelyn C. Thomas, this instructor choreographs routines to highlight her dancers' abilities and build their confidence at Evelyn's Dance Studio, and also educates the community about the health benefits of dancing, something I've always subscribed to myself. <laughs> McAuliffe Elementary Performing Arts Group, run by parent volunteer Karen Fussy, Kindergarten through sixth grade students are trained on all aspects of performing arts and have entertained at retirement homes, the Bakersfield Homeless Center, and the Jameson Center. Michelle and Ephraim Penn. This couple, who owns Penn Point Dance Academy, inspires a love for performing through their dance studio and after school programs while working to build character and discipline in their students. Rick Kreiser is the man behind an ongoing series called the Guitar Masters Concert Series, perhaps you've heard of it, which presents the world's best guitarist and instrumentalist in an intimate listening environment right here in Bakersfield. And finally, well, not finally, excuse me. This is a big category, lots of nominees. <laughs> Stars Bakersfield Music Theater Restaurant. Since 1969, this dinner theater has allowed local actors to donate their time and talents by performing in shows for the community. The theater also trains performers through its after-school programs. Sylvia Guzman. For 30 years, Sylvia Guzman, director of Grupo Folklorico Escuela Unidas, has helped youth in our community learn the rich history and culture of Mexican folklore through dance and musical performances at an annual festival. The Arts Council of Kern transformed First Friday's Art Walk into a monthly fine arts event and extravaganza. If you haven't been there, it's a lot of fun. Featuring more than 75 local artists and live music while also supporting local shops and restaurants. And finally, Thomas Zachary local artist who revitalized the city's largest mural that was in danger of fading away and created a new mural to honor all veterans of World War II. Please welcome our award sponsor from Bright House Networks, Ms. Colleen Dillaway, Director of Sales and Marketing. long walk in high heels. Hello friends. Um, so Bright House Networks is a local employer employing more than 350 or so of your friends, neighbors, and colleagues. What matters the most to us and what we work hard every day to do is to connect our customers with what matters most to them. Now we are a tireless supporter of the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce and we are very happy to support in any way we possibly can tonight, but I am particularly pleased to be able to present tonight's Arts and Culture Award because what better way to connect people than through arts and culture. So tonight's nominees, as you have all seen, have all been very spectacular in their own right and I would like to congratulate each and every one of those nominees. So please give me just a minute to <laughs> congratulate them. However, it is my honor and privilege to present tonight's Crystal Camellia to Mr. Rick Kreiser. The Guitar Masters Concert Series began as a simple idea, which was to present the world's premier guitarists and instrumentalists in an intimate listening environment. Rick Kreiser founded this ongoing concert series in 2011 which is now in its fifth season, having hosted more than 30 shows for 6,000 Bakersfield music lovers of all ages. Last season alone, more than 2,000 people attended 11 shows at four different venues, including American Sound Recording Studios, Edward J. Simonson Performing Arts Center at Bakersfield College, the Spotlight Theater, and the Bakersfield Music Hall of Fame. Guitar Masters also hosts clinics and lectures to further engage the artists with patrons. Well, just how cool is this? 
So it was about uh, four and a half years ago or so that uh, I had this idea, not a new idea, just have some guitar players come, but I attended a house concert down in uh, Westlake Village, and I heard this wonderful guitar player, and he was our first guest, Lawrence Juber, uh, used to play with Paul McCartney, and I thought, how great would it be just to have a, a, a small, intimate show uh, with great guitar players, and I realized that my house would not seat 50 people, so... We start out at the Bell Tower, and we're now at the beautiful Bakersfield Music Hall of Fame. We've done 37 shows, and it, our underwriting sponsors, and really my family, and all you cool people that come to the shows uh, are really the, uh, the winners here. So I'd like to thank my wife, Lori, my daughter, Katie, who took every one of those pictures of every show, and, uh, and all of our artists and patrons. Thanks very much. What an honor.